Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. So if you've seen a few of my previous videos, you would know that I absolutely love everything related to macrame. Macrame technique, macrame notes, macrame cord. So for this video, I decided to create three different home decoration items using macrame cord. I will be showing you how I create macrame uh, photo frame tea light holder and some kind of decoration for your door's handle. There won't be any difficult knots involved in this project, so I'm sure even if you're new to macrame, you won't have problems to do. And before we start, if you like videos about DIY, home decoration and lifestyle, please subscribe to my channel. But for now, grab your favorite color of your cord and let's start with the project number one. For this project, I'm actually using photo frame, which I've bought in one of my local car boot sales. It's really basic wooden photo frame, but I like it that the actual frame is so thick. So I start with measuring the length of my cord, which goes around the glass part of my frame. Then I measure the length of my cord, which I'm going to do my knots with. I double this length up. I will need quite a big amount of these small pieces. Also, I will need longer pieces for the cornets, which I forgot about at the beginning. I will explain it later. Now I have to place all of my smaller pieces on the longer one. To do it, I'm using Clark's knot. It's very simple. All you have to do is fold your cord in half, place it under the other cord and put your loose ends through the loop and then tighten it. Now I have to fill my whole cord with this knot. When I've added all of my small cords, it's time to glue it to the frame. To do it, I'm using cold glue. The other knot I'm using in this project is square knot. Also super easy. I'm not going to explain exactly how to do it now. I've done it before in one of my video, so please go and check it out. So I'm going to create first row of square knots all around the glass part of the frame. That's why you always have to make sure that the amount of lark set knots is divided by two, because for each square knot, you need four cords coming out of two lark knots. After creating first row of square knots, I'm going to do the same by starting row lower and between the other knots. And I'm doing this all the way around again. And at this point, I've realized I don't have long enough cord for my corners. So I had to undo some of the knots and add about four new knots. Then I just keep doing my rows of squares knots and filling the corners. So all together I've created three rows of square knots around the photo frame. Now I'm going to unravel the loose cord and brush it with the comb. After it's all done, 
I'm simply turning around the frame and using hot glue, I'm attaching the loose cords to the back of the frame. To finish it all, I'm adding some extra thick rope around the frame. Now just place your favorite photo inside and your macrame frame is ready. For this project I'm using my old glass round shaped dish. I start with measuring the length of the cord I need. I'm going twice around my bowl and I will need 15 pieces of the cord in that length. Using hot glue I'm gluing the ends of my cord in straight line. Now divide your cords into 5 equal sections. So what I'm going to do is creating 5 cord braid. Take your first section and put it over second section. Take third section and put it over section 1. Then take last section, put it over section 4 and under section 1. I hope that makes sense. It's probably better for you to see what I'm doing rather than me trying to explain it. Then repeat this process all the way till you reach the other end. To secure the cord from moving on the ball, I'm gluing it to the ball in a few places. Once you reach the other end, glue cord to the bowl and cut off the spurs. This way you can create a really beautiful decoration. Put your tea light inside and it's perfect for autumn cozy evenings. For this DIY, I'm using two different sizes of beads, some cotton rope and scissors. I want to change the color of my bigger beads. I'm using the simple technique of placing your beads on any kind of stick. Of course, otherwise it will be really hard to paint the beads all around at the same time. I went for dusty rose color, which will go well with the natural wood color. Mm -hmm. 
Once you paint them, leave it in this position to fully dry. Now I'm going to put the cord through the beads. I've cut about one meter long cord. For easy job, I put some tape at the end of my rope. In this case, it will be much easier to put it through the beads. The pattern I'm going for is one small bead, one big bead, two small, one big, one small. I'm repeating it until I use all of my 16 bigger beads. Create the knots at the both ends to secure the beads in one place. At the both ends, I want to create macrame feather. I'm using my scrap cord from previous project. So never throw them away, they are still good to use. To create the feather, take two pieces of cord and fold them in half. Place one cord under the main string and other cord above it, but inverted other side. Put loose end through the loops and tighten it. Put as many of this knot as long as you want your feather to be. Now stream it roughly to the shape of feather. Unravel the cords and brush it with comb. Cut it tighter and give the final shape of feather. I recommend to use a really sharp scissors to do it. And I'm repeating the process on the other side. I think it's really cute little decoration, who said the doors always have to be plain and boring. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this project. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. As I said before, I love macrame technique and creating new items using macrame cord. I think all of these items would go really nice in like a bohemian interiors. I usually choose natural, like a beige color of my cord, but that's only personal preferences. I know this bohemian style is so on trends at the moment and you can buy most of these items in the shop, but I still think that creating your own and unique pieces is the best feeling. So thank you so much for watching and supporting my channels and I hope I'll see you again soon.